We shift now to Washington state where heavy rain has added to the burden on those searching for victims of last weekend's massive deadly mudslide. John Blackstone is in Darrington, Washington with the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, Vanita and Anthony. Well, search officials here are now acknowledging that a week after this landslide, there's now little chance that anyone could have survived under the mud and wreckage. Uh, for the people in this valley, this has been a week of grieving and loss. What is now called the impact zone was, until a week ago, the community of Oso, population about 180. When the landslide hit, 81-year-old Mac McPherson was sitting in his recliner. Noise started building and building, and I looked over my shoulder, and the outside, all the trees were windmilling, and uh, nanoseconds later, this huge, huge crash. Of course, I had my legs out of my recliner like this, and a huge, huge crash that was unbelievably loud. Volunteer firefighters Jan and Jeff McClellan were among the first to reach the scene. We've seen a lot of things in the in the you know four years that we've been doing this um, up here, but uh, nothing could ever make you imagine that you were ever going to see the things we've seen um, since Saturday morning. Take a square mile of land, scoop it all up at least uh, 40 feet deep, and more and more houses, logs, trees, rocks, everything. Put it all into a blender blend it until it's all chopped out, pour it on the ground. Yeah, That's it, what we were in. It was her. It was just, it was things that I never want to see again. The surge is personal. The McClellans know some of those who are missing. Alan Bayville worked with them on their farm. Oh Diana Bayville is Alan's was, mother. But Alan was my smiley because the time he was young, he was just laughing, laughing, laughing. He was with his fiance, Delaney Webb, when the landslide struck. I could just picture them in the kitchen. I don't even think they know what hit them. And that's how I'm picturing it, and that it was fast. Mac McPherson managed to dig himself out, but Linda, his wife of 46 years, was killed. <coughs> she, she was a cogwheel. She made it all go around. The week ahead is likely to be no easier than the week that has just passed here. And uh, conditions for searchers uh, could just get worse. This rain is forecast to last for most of the week. Anthony and Vanita. John Blackstone in Darrington, Washington. Thank you, John.